about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the red carpet of the Fame Expo and I'm taking you with me. Take a look. Oh my god, it was the most amazing thing ever. One thing, she is such a boss. I seriously love her. I wish I could hang out with her every day. <laughs> you don't get to hang out with her? No! This is the slide. Hi. Of Oh my god, it was the most amazing thing ever. One thing, she is such a boss, and I seriously love her. I wish I could hang out with her every day. <laughs> you don't get to hang out with her? No! I was like, I was expecting you to hook me up with her. Right, exactly. <laughs> but um, it was amazing, such an amazing experience. And then the fact that, you know, we worked together and coming up with the colors and the names and everything. Like, I had so much freedom and so much. So I, I can't thank her enough for, for what we have together. What are what do you think of your life between one and two? What was that? Okay, what do you think of your life between one and two? I seriously couldn't believe it. I thought it was a dream come true. I literally almost collapsed and I was like, wait, oh my god, this is happening. It really did happen. It's me. <laughs> oh, look at his work. You got this his work. Thank you. You can see it. It's really good. Alright, he's amazing guys, so you have to go by his collaboration with Kim Kardashian. Available at KKW Beauty. <laughs> Winner of American Beauty Star. Yeah. So tell me how that like process was for you. I mean, it definitely was not the easiest because we were in team. So it was me and my partner Sandy, and so we don't get to see each other until the day of competition and right when we're about to go on stage and compete. So it definitely was a challenge, but it was nice because you had to, you know, you. I got to show a lot of my, you know, art artistry, like the different facets of it, different things that I can do, and like together we just work and we, we won. And we're here at a beauty expo, so tell me your like top three beauty secrets. A fan, <laughs> girl, you need a fan at all times. <laughs> Beauty secrets. I think my my favorite things I would say is a setting spray you need if you're at an event. I'll give you the hacks, okay? This is what you need. You need a fan, you need a setting spray, and you need a liquid lipstick. Girl, because you're gonna be talking, walking around, and it just stays on all day long. And of course, a lot of highlight, because you can never have enough glow. <laughs> of course not. Thank you so of much. Course, okay, so you have to tell me about Greenhouse Academy. Yes. Seasons one and two are out right now on Netflix, and we're about to start filming seasons three and four. This is actually the first time I say this in an interview. It's such a great show. Uh, we get to film it in Israel, so that's amazing because we film like three or four months out of the year out there. It's a really cool show about uh, this elite boarding school in Southern California and like these two rival houses. It's kind of like, have you seen Degrassi? Yes. It's kind of like Degrassi. It's like Degrassi mixed with Lost because there's also like these sci-fi elements to it. It's a really fun show. Please check it out. I'm a huge fan of it. <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you have anything else that you're working on besides that show? Yes. I am actually working on David Ayer. He's the director of Suicide Squad. Incredible. Uh, incredible guy. I'm working on his new movie. So we're shooting that now in the summer. And it's just been an incredible experience. I've been training in martial arts. It's wow. just, it's a dream. Definitely a dream come true. That's so crazy. I feel like I need to learn some of that. That's so cool. You should. You should train a little bit. They've got me doing everything from like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to American Kempo to boxing. I mean, we're just we're just training really hard, the cast and I. So it's really cool, like stance or something that you Hell should. yeah. Um, well, hmm. Yeah, just like a red, like just like, like I don't know how to do. I feel like I look so gross doing that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Showing us some moves because we can do it in heels with like a full face of makeup, which yeah. is great. That we can go do that and then come to fame for the weekend. How excited are you to be here? Like this is insane. It's, it's my first year. Okay, so it's my first year too, and it's definitely insane. I haven't seen 
so many amazing like makeup artists and just like passionate makeup followers in one room at the same time. I've, I've been a big fan of yours since your Total Diva days. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I know a lot has changed, right? I mean, I'm not all red everything anymore. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, I was yeah. like, how has your life changed since being on Total Diva so much? I mean, uh, we created a own business, you know, it's my first booth is here. My business partners are right there. Obviously, I'm married to a damn handsome, I, I, a handsome motherfucker over there. Um, but so much changed. I mean, I dyed my hair for my first movie. That's what really made the big change from All Red Everything to Black and uh, just stepping into Hollywood and then uh, building my own brand. That. I know you, you built quite around it. I mean, you have the hair extensions to the glasses, the clothing. Like, how did it, this all start for you? You know what, I think, I mean, I went to college for business, and then as soon as I graduated, you know, I dabbled in modeling and acting, and then, uh, lucky enough, my husband has an MBA, so uh, when we got together, he knew that I had that, like, entrepreneur, like, in me, yeah. and so uh, I told him, you know, I want to own my own business one day, and then he was like, what do you want to do? And I said, fashion, and then met Janet, and the rest is history. It's so great. Yeah. Boss woman. That's right. <laughs> Boss babe, for sure. I know women are are definitely taking over right now. This is they amazing. They really are. You know, I'm the youngest of all boys, so uh, you know I have that like competitive edge in me, and I think now is the time for women. You know, it is. It's our time, guys. It's our time right now. So today you had a meet and greet with your fans. How does it feel to like be one on one with your fans? Oh my god, honestly, that is like the best of everything that I could possibly uh, just uh, the actual interaction and get to talk to people and the fact that I have like fans it's like crazy like what like why you know and so it just feels really really good I just stopped by the booth just for a second so I have my official meet and greet after the panel so I can't wait to just hug everybody and take photos they love you they love you they've been following I them I love them without them I don't exist and that's really what it boils down to you know what's next for you you've done so much already but what's next I have so much um, I have a upcoming film that I I'm in um, so be on the lookout for that uh, I have one film that's actually done and is gonna get released soon um, we just dropped five brand new Sun Sunny Styles and then um, our sunglass line is actually launching in Nordstrom's as well that's big so you heard it first <laughs> exclusive yes I know the glasses are cute I'm gonna have to take them yes to come girl come to our booth check yeah, them out I will. Thank you. well that's it for me on day one of the fame expo thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next time guys as we discuss more life love and pop culture life love and pop pop culture if you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.